This is MTV, welcome to my crib. Nah, just kidding, I'm getting ready to go head out to Puerto Vallarta. And uh, I wanted to just let y'all know a little bit about what you can expect from this video. Um, it's the little time in the ocean, the little bit of um, ocean magic, little Qigong. I met the most blessed human, uh, a woman named Marie. She was a Pisces, so you're gonna see a little clip from her. Norbertos and this uh, little shrimp burrito, something taco restaurant that I went to. And you definitely gotta check that out. Some more places that I can't remember the name because not everything shows up on the Google Maps. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the travel adventure uh, as for taking the bus system out to, uh, from Guadalajara to Puerto Vallarta. I think it's about round trip, $78 US with the inflation prices, about $35, $36 to go one way there. Um, separate from that, you could take the train for like 50 to 70 cents to take the train pretty much almost anywhere from where you are in Guadalajara or the bus system. Uh, really rapid, really clean. So that's really dope. But that said, come on and take an adventure with me to the ocean side uh, and see what our uh, retreat or vacation for myself and my partner looks like. We did a cool little setup where she actually already went out there uh, three days or so prior to me. I'm gonna go ahead and go there by myself and meet her for like two to three days in between and then she'll leave dip out and I'll spend the time by myself. So this is uh, relationships at its finest under revision and this Venus retrograde finally we're going direct, which means that money should start to come back in. Um, relationships should start to hit the purity of what it's like at a heart level and everything that was half-hearted should start to kind of wither away. But this is less about astrology and this is more about the lifestyle um, that's all possible. So welcome to the Puerto Vallarta vlog. So one of the first things that stood out to me, um, as you see these little huts, you see the people cleaning in the city, um, the Pisces full moon really was angry and it kicked a lot of the garbage and the trash out. So unfortunately, this is happening mostly from in front of hotels so that they can keep the tourists happy. But it's also just something that you can still appreciate the beauty that they're still doing it regardless if it's for a hotel, um, regardless if it's not the whole beach right away. Uh, it's just one more moment to see that the world is always working with and for us. But let's take you into the bus station and start from the beginning. This is the bus station in Guadalajara. So this is the bus. You see each one comes equipped with a TV. I'm going to go ahead and put my stuff up top. Plenty of space. My backpack was stuff packed because I bought rocks back from the ocean. The movie selection is honestly really great. The one downside, if you're an English speaker, the movies are in Spanish. It is what it is. There's no subtitles, but the selections are great. And it's a great way to practice your Spanish and just kind of listen intently in the meanwhile. So Nope was one I wanted to watch, but I saw it in the theaters already with my partner. So I went ahead and watched Tenet, as you see right there. It was a good little spy movie. Uh, really interesting, quite frankly. So like I said, the movie selection is great. Enjoy. Um, that said, uh, the, the, by the way, the seats do recline. You have this beautiful leg rest that comes with the seats. And they go back about all the way, but I recommend one of those little airplane pillows. It really will help with the turbulence because the ride, when you get close to like the mountains and you're doing these turns without roads, it can get a little bumpy. You might want to take a Dramamine for motion sickness. Enjoy the ride. So you see the buses coming right behind me. I actually just landed. If you ever want to take the bus, let's say from Guadalajara or wherever you're at in Mexico to Puerto Vallarta, this is the bus station that you're gonna come out of. All right, right there. I'm in Puerto Vallarta right now. All you wanna do is cross the street. It's gonna cost you 150 pesos in a taxi, which I think is about seven to eight dollars. No, it might be more now. Five, more like nine, nine to eleven dollars. Or you could take uh, fifty cents worth to seventy cents worth. You cross the street, you can take this little bus. So let's tap in. So we found this iconic little street with Eileen the Mexican Bruja just walking up on it. Welcome to Puerto Vallarta. Vallarta. Before she yells at me. Oh, it's hot.
saw your application yesterday. Yay! I know Eileen was super excited. I was super excited. She's like, we got another, uh, what's the thing called? Application. So, as well as you know, we saw it. Yeah. We didn't look at the uh, actual Ooh. responses and all that stuff yet. We're looking at the schedule next week sometime. <laughs> but we're on vacation right now. That's why I didn't respond much in the group. I'm trying to do my own mental health recentering. So, um, just want to kind of give you a heads up. We just got that man to give us that right there. Can you throw it in the sunlight for me? Ooh, I believe they're called oysters. I, I always get mixed up. But ocean side, how much was this, Eileen? One fifty. One fifty. That's about what? Seven, eight dollars? Yeah. About seven, eight dollars US. And you get about nine to ten oysters. I think I see. About ten, no? Ten. Ten. Wow. Incredible. And then we went and got some of these shrimp. This is 35 pesos, so it's looking more like uh, 35 is in the US now, a little less than $2, maybe about $2, the way the currency has been dropping down. So I think it's actually about $2 exactly right now, 35, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's a new currency change, so beach day. Alright, so I forgot my journal. So what I did was I came to Office Depot. Um, honestly, you could probably let me come here. You could probably do this a lot cheaper. There's things called papelarias here. And I probably could have got a journal way. I mean honestly I don't even know how much cheaper because I got a stapler. A stapler my pens and my paper for five dollars I think because the US dollar is crashing maybe it's six dollars now um, total and you know now I'm gonna get ready to go to that cafe I can't I don't know if you can see it it's next to this subway it's called uh, cafe projecto I'll zoom in in a moment but I left my journal and stuff um, my partner just went home so I'm on the solo vacation by myself she had her days by herself I came here I met her halfway through we had our days it's a good time for me to cross this big ass street. And then, um, you know, uh oh, am I going to make it? I don't know, Charlie. I think I shall. Oy, ah, yeah. Huh. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make the next one too. These streets get mad crowded when they do. So, um, that said, this is the cafe I was talking about uh, Projecto Cafe Desajunos meaning breakfast, you got salad, uh, pinotokia, I don't know what the hell it is, I'm guessing paninis, so this is me in Puerto Vallarta, 
but let's go ahead and see what's going on with this cafe. I actually just had breakfast with Eileen and um, <laughs> I forgot to take any video. Yo, so speak of the devil, you see right behind me, it says, uh, let me try to zoom in here. You see papeleria. That, I could have got all of this paper that you see. And a little store like that, it probably would have been maybe a third less. I'm going to say like at least a third less. So I paid five, six dollars, maybe I would have paid like three to four, depending. And I might not have found the stapler, but I also wouldn't have found the same quality pen that I wanted. And... I've been wanting some quality pens for a while. And these are a little, these are cute. Look at this. Look at these. They're like little short, tiny ones. So we'll see what happens. But I got three cafes that I'm thinking about right now in a moment. So stay tuned. All right. So I got a lot of cars, so you might not hear the audio, but this uh, organic cafe you see right behind me is actually really cute. It's really quaint. You see right there. Um, I try to get a little video in. But I am in Puerto Vallarta and like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm being a little bougie. I feel like, um, this is some vegan pizza behind me. I'm feeling like I need some AC. Like if I'm being real, like it feels like I need some AC. So I might try this pizza spot out though. You see this. So you see this pizza spot here. They even have some vegan cheese pizza. So it's a late night thing, seven to 10. In all sincerity, I'm not that much of a late out, but Let's see what's happening with the organic cafe. All right, so they're making it tough for me, right? We got Te Leche right over there. And then we have, you uh, can't see right behind me. You see um, this Michi, Michi cat place. You could bring your cat, the cats are welcome. And they already said hola and welcome to me. Wow, I'm looking good, hey. Hey, what up, B? So, from a friendliness standpoint, the cat place is already like my spot, right? The other place was a little dingy. Both of them look like they don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, not Wi-Fi. They all got Wi-Fi. But both of them don't look like they have AC. So, I was trying to do it, get some AC before it gets too hot. But I guess this is what it is. I went to about three or four cafes. None of them had it in the area. It ain't, it ain't where I'm at. I am staying a little more local. So, this is part of the consequence. Um, but some of these other places really do have AC, but this ain't it. So let's go ahead and make our choice. Mucho gusto. Entonces, eh, ¿cómo, ¿qué tal es tu comida aquí? Ah, muy rica. Me <laughs> Baguettes, tortas, puritas, quesadillas, uh, papés, sándwiches. Uh -huh. ¿En qué zona de Puerto Vallarta? En zona Versalles, Colonia 
Versalles, calle Viena 211. Qué bueno. Gracias, entonces nos vemos. <laughs> okay, so if you come to Puerto Vallarta, you're gonna want to check out Nobertos. Uh, what I really recommend, even though I didn't try it because it looks so good and everybody was ordering it, I'm probably gonna have to get one before I leave, so maybe I'll put it in the blog. It's the Mateados, Mateadas. Only reason I didn't get it is it's a little early in the morning. This I got a burrito, a shrimp burrito for breakfast, so I didn't really need it too early I got a full day ahead took a little dip in the ocean got my feet exfoliated my feet my ankles my calves and my knees I put my my whole thing I covered it and buried myself in the sand but that said you might want to check out Nobertos um, I have half of my sandwich to go so if you only saw half in the video understand there's another half coming uh, in my belly and there's an extra little salad so they kind of get they kind of doubled up you're also gonna wanna get a torta from this cafe right here. Uh, he said the zone that we were in, I don't actually know what the zone is per se, but Cafe Spa Salon, they have an incredible cheesecake. I had like this, <clears throat> I think it's called turtle, turtle cheesecake. You know, the chocolate and the, the, the like the Nutella pieces and like caramel. I, I, I really don't know, but it was a delicious cheesecake. I think it was about 50 pesos which was cheaper than the other ones out here. So uh, I see some, most of the other ones are like 65. So that said, check out Norberto's. He, he lived about 15 years up in Palo Santo or San Jose area in California. He's back down here now. And uh, I'm enjoying my trip here. So stay tuned, baby. Alright, so I picked up these rocks, I've already washed them, from the beach, and first off, they look beautiful. I heard a trick that you can do with your plants, so I got about three plants, big ones at home, I got four plants actually, five, and the rest died, so I had more than five, the rest died. And you can put these at the bottom of your plants. So I have plants that actually really like to breathe. And the pots that I have, they don't have extra holes. I thought about drilling some holes. But I was like, you know, I heard this technique. Put the rocks at the bottom. And it gives them more space to breathe. And not to drown. Because one of the reasons why I don't have a lot of my plants is because I drowned a lot of them. I should have put this one in first. So I figured I'll bring the energy of the ocean with me back to the city of Guadalajara. And this is my little project. These were the essentials that I brought. Actually, Eileen brought this. I had this avocado. This is my favorite munchie snack right now. Got the fruit man. Maybe by tomorrow, if I remember, I'll show you my Airbnb when I make my bed. Oh, whatever. It's Pisces full moon. So i just been literally in bed all day. I did go in the ocean a little earlier. I spent about an hour in the water minimum. Maybe another 10 minutes doing Qigong. I need another fruit. I ain't showing you more than my mouth because your boy is tired. So I got that was mango and this one's pineapple. 
I got this fruit called tuna. Literally, it's a green fruit called tuna. But Pisces full moon already had me going through a whole diarrhea episode, so we're done with that. We don't need it because tuna makes you clean. It cleanses and clears you out. All right, it's really great for like Virgo, Libra energy, who does the purification and excretion of bad enzymes and nutrients. And there's the reabsorption of the positive and healthy ones. So uh, this is my little bed break. I came up for some food and the best rye bread. I bought these cinnamon sticks. Mad excessive. I only brought the tuna. I brought the eggs. Not even going to use them, but I'll bring them back. This rye bread, yo. Fresh made. A little expensive, but... Delicious. I'm watching Netflix right now because I logged out of the account <laughs> on this one. And um, this is me making some ginger tea with some cinnamon here on vacation. I kind of want to go back out, but I, I feel like I've already committed to like, man, my stomach was messed up. I leave in the morning on the bus. <clears throat> it's my next door neighbor. Watermelons. Really love the mountains. It like it's gonna probably rain a little bit later, but nice little spot out here in Puerto Vallarta. Let's see, my man, thirsty. And this is uh, this is it. This is this is the apartment. Like I said, mind the mess. Actually, it was a very, very clean, clean space. Got the AC. It was a very clean space. You see the bathroom? That's me. Uh, I'm not opening this, but your boy's locked in. That was about it. This is my spot. I'm in my normal hotel. And then I'm about to get back in the bed. Oh! I just met the most blessed woman, Marie, and she has a couple words of wisdom. She actually gifted me something so, so special and dear to my heart that I've been pretty much calling in. And I also called in the right people. And so I just couldn't not let this happen where she gives out some beautiful words of wisdom. What do you have for the people? Um, just be at peace. Just uh, know that you are the light of the world and that uh, you have all the know-how to become whoever and whatever you want to become. Every day, take time to meditate, which is so important. When you meditate, you connect to your inner self because your inner self is all that you have. Mm. You don't have what's out there. What's out there is not yours. It could be evaporated anytime, yeah. but your soul, your inner self, knowing, we always ask, who am I? Mm. You are the God, you are the Buddha, you are the I am, you are the, the this beautiful nature that Buddha always talk about. Mm. So remember that every day, that uh, if you take that time to sit still, don't get into a 
autopilot every day. Mm. When you first get up, you go, go, go. Stop going. Take time, relax, and enjoy who you really are. Mm. And once you sit down, you meditate for that 5, 10, 15 minutes. Start out with two minutes. It doesn't take that long. No. But just start out step by step, step by step, and then you'll find out at the middle of the day, you'll be like, wow, I am feeling this incredible peace. Mm -hmm. And peace is all about, is what it is all about. So if you have peace, you have everything in the world. Absolutely. And that's my gift to you and to humanity today, just to have that peace. Thank you so much, much Marie. Love. Thank you so much. She is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Y'all going to see her coming up soon. Stop. All right. I bless you. Thank Man, I mean it. She is one of the most special people I've met in a long time. You know, I used to meet people like her so much more often in Asia who just care to be compassionate and kind and a light for other people with no agenda, no ulterior motive. She needed or wanted absolutely nothing but to just bless somebody else's life with the light that she carried. And really understanding that she has that light. She is that light. And, you know, it was just so awesome. Like, for me to just sit there and just listen to somebody happily. Gracefully. Not trying to... I had no urge to want to pick apart anything she was saying. Because it came from such a pure place. She didn't try to convince me of who she was or what she's done and it just was such a beautiful beautiful energy to I, I you know on the Pisces full moon I asked like you know bring in the right relationships right knowing that it's coming at that seven degrees of Pisces bring in the right relationships the relationships that can be met with you know the masculine and the feminine in unison and and as a whole I tell you my heart is so full of joy so full of gold so full of light and she was definitely one of my spirit guides in some form <laughs> call it who you want call it which one of these guys I, it doesn't even matter the who matters less rather than she definitely was this significator that I'm getting ready to step into a brand new stage of pure bliss pure light total rejuvenation you see the people on the beach was cleaning up um, the chaos that was coming from this Pisces full moon. Cleaning and clearing this big super blue moon coming up close, bringing tranquility, bringing a gentle touch. The love pouring through my heart right now has always been there. 2-2 two, two on screen. I've always been united with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting ready to go catch my bus. I'm heading back to Guadalajara. This was the ending of my trip. You can't, you can't <laughs> make this up, you know? Nothing about this process is artificial. And that's what makes life so beautiful. If we just take the time to follow our intuition. I said, boy, I wanna go to the beach one last time before my bus. Even if it makes me late. I'll see you soon. All right, so. Here's a little better representation of how the Airbnb came from Jump Street without my lazy Pisces day. All right, that's my water and my apple. I'm getting ready to take it as I leave out. So, like I said, a little better representation. Um, I'll try to drop the Airbnb link that I stayed at. I think it's uh, it's actually really affordable compared to most of the prices here in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, I do believe it's really affordable. It's become more and more expensive. I will drop her direct link for this hosting or this listing. I don't know the name of it, but I'm like six to seven minute walk maybe to the beach. Um, really, really close. It's not the overly popular area, which I believe is uh, Zona Romantica, uh, the romantic zone, which I feel like a lot of experts will come on and go, but also a lot more party, a lot more noise. I'm not in that area. It's very quiet here. There's a lot of cute, quaint shops, um, as well as restaurants and foods that are OD smacking good that are not even on Google. Okay, you can't find it on Google Maps. So it's a nice area to just walk around, find new places, little cafes, little restaurants, 
um, you know, street food, all of the stuff. They got everything but a freaking local market. You got to go to the Soriana uh, or the Comer, La Comer, which is like a grocery store. Soriana is a grocery store. La Comer is a grocery store. I'll be honest, the La, La, La Soriana was really not the best fruits. I, I feel like it was nasty. It's like I'd rather go to a local market, but it seems like this is part of one of the things that tourism has like destroyed. <laughs> Because I know there had to be local markets before. I asked people around. Everybody was like, nah, I'll go to Soriana. And one lady told me where, but if I'm being honest, I didn't actually understand what the hell she said. And I think it was just because I was kind of feeling that little sickness under the weather. Um, just lazy and really wasn't even listening. But it also was hot. I was aggravated. I just wanted to get back home. I didn't want to go outside in the first place, right? But I had to go get the oatmeal. My stomach is feeling much better. I'm getting ready to take my bus now. Shout out to that beautiful woman, Marie. She's absolutely amazing. Um, that said, I'm getting ready to go ahead and check out of here. Thank you for joining my adventure in Puerto Vallarta. It's my first time here. I had a trip booked here in quarantine 2021. I believe it was 2021 or 2020. And my flight got canceled three times. I lost my money, lost my deposit. It wasn't meant to be. But now it's 2023 and I'm here. And I think that's crazy. And what's even more weird is this is the exact lady when I booked this apartment, I already had messages in my Airbnb inbox with her. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the lady that I booked a long time ago. At bare minimum, I was talking to her. I don't think I actually booked this place, but I was talking to her. I booked a different place. And ironically, I'm in this place now. So, you know, all things work out in divine timing. That's a prime example, right? Literally, it's two and a half years later before I got to the same city, Puerto Vallarta. And I think it's the best. Honestly, in a lot of ways, I like it better than Playa del Carmen. Um, in all the ways, Playa del Carmen always going to have its charm. So maybe I got to take an update trip there and see what that's like. I'll see you soon. Thank you for joining the Puerto Vallarta vlog. This is a joy. Chapin. So another thing you really need to know about Puerto Vallarta, it's hot as hell. So in all sincerity, I'm going to recommend you come in the winter months. I believe it's the same winter as the U.S., you know, December, November. I also believe that it's busier in September and October. I think it's the busiest months, so do keep that in mind. There's going to probably be a little inflation, a little price increase during those months. Um, but with that said, I'm here to tell you the bus you want to take for 10 pesos. Maybe that's like 60 cents these days. I don't know, the currency keeps dropping and inflation is um, C27 Mojones. I'm gonna type it up on screen in case I said it wrong. I don't actually know the name, it's in my, my text. Shout out to my partner for giving that. Mojones, uh, bus C27. So like I said, for me that's, I'm gonna go, you probably can't see here, that's Calle Yugoslavia. Um, you're gonna go to the main, main street where all the buses are at. I don't know the name of the main street. <laughs> There's one main big ass street where all the buses always meet at the edge. So you obviously take the bus going to the direction back towards the airport, back towards the bus station. And uh, you can always just ask the driver when you're there. Like, it's the bus, it's the bus de estacion, the bus station. So you can always ask that. We'll tap in. Alright, so I had a complete brain fart, but I couldn't let it go. Estacion de bus. Duh. Estacion de bus. So station comes first. This is me always in my, my Spanish learning process. Let's go ahead and try to take this. Take this bus. Um, that's back where Norbert's was at. And on this street, which is... What is this street called? Cause uno y uno. Literally. Uno y uno. One and one. And one. That street had the best, the best, the best restaurant that I'm going to try to go ahead and put down. Ah, oh, crap. I tried to look for it on Google, but they did, it's one of the stores. They didn't have it. But I'll, I'll drop a pen across from it. And um, there's a bakery called Artisanry Bake, Artisan, Artisan Bakery. Artisan Bakery right across from it. it was best taco. So this spot over here always booming right on the corner of my house unfortunately unfortunately I didn't get to eat there because the stomach but whatever 
I got my bag of food coming home with me now. Okay, so I thought it might be this one because you have to pass Buqueres, Buceras, going towards Sayulita. It's going towards Sayulita, but it's not this one. You want to look for the C27, all right? So he told me to wait right here. All right, if you're where I'm at, tacos, uh, antojitos, which is like cravings. You see that sign? Guadalajara, Puerto Mago, Mexico. So again, another one of the buses that it's not. I'm looking for C27, that's 21A. Another one had just left out. All right, that was an easy ride. The OXO that's here, you can't see crap. The OXO that's here brings you right to those buses, as you see at the back. Um, like I said, you're gonna pay about there and back about 16 to 17 dollars if you do a taxi um maybe 13 dollars if you do uber there and back but they're a little petty about taking the ubers Let's take this car they're a little petty about taking the uber from the bus station so if you do do it from the bus station you want to make sure you walk away from the bus station at least a street and a half all right and um if you're taking the bus there You'll see the blue, these blue tops, and those buses right there, that's where the bus will pick you up if you're arriving, which I didn't really, I didn't do it here arriving only because uh, I kept missing the bus because I was standing in the wrong spot. So it's directly across. All right, baby. This concludes the trip here to Puerto Vallarta as I see an orange butterfly. The bus is high, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got a little wetness between my legs and these jeans but you really want to wear the jeans only because um, I even have my shirt because the bus is freezing all right it's like a five six hour bus ride back to Guadalajara but the bus is freezing cold like you ever been in that that plane that's just blasting AC and you can't put enough clothes on that's how the buses are but they do got movies it is very comfortable to see some recline all the way back to the point where you're like laying almost and uh, this is the Puerto Vallarta vlog, baby. I really enjoyed this experience. I'll see you all soon. So it's funny, I just complained about AC and it's actually very cool inside the waiting room. I didn't know that the bus station itself, at least here in Puerto Vallarta, has AC for the waiting room. You're not gonna get the same in Guadalajara, but at the same time, it's really not that expensive. I mean, not expensive. It's really not that hot in Guadalajara, so you really don't have much to worry about. Puerto Vallarta is really where the humidity sits, but You'll see, this is the waiting room here. And it'll kind of let you know, like, boom, waiting room, AC. All right, now maybe I see you.